In this video, I'm going to show you how you can calculate the potential profits for your options trades. For those of you always wondering about theta, this is going to be the tool for you. Make sure you take full advantage of this so you never really have to worry about theta again. This website is called optionsprofitcalculator.com and that is exactly what we're going to do using this. Now, all we're going to focus on in this video is long call and long put and all that means is buying a call and buying a put. I'll do an example of both so you know how to do it. And should you be interested in any of this other stuff, I will leave that up to you to play around with on this website. This is all I really like to do. Now let's start out with the call. All right, so here we are. We are gonna look at the symbol Tesla, T-S-L-A. And you can either hit get price, which will do this, or you can just click in the box here. Let me delete that. If I just click in the box, okay, now I have to hit get price, but if I didn't, it would have put it in anyway. Now, since we're buying the contract or looking at buying it, you're gonna want this to be on buy, and then you're gonna wanna come down here and select the option. Now, since we're looking at a call, let's say we wanted to look at something out of the money. Let's say we were looking at, I don't know, like a 185. It's currently going for a 144 for a call, you want to make sure you're on the right side, not over here on the put side if you're looking at calls. And then also you want to make sure you're looking at the right date. If you're not using the closest date, you want to make sure you have whatever date you're looking at. And then once you have it picked, just come to the contract, 144. The price per option fills it in right there. And you can put more in here, but to just leave that at one, and then, yeah, you just come down here and you can click calculate. And now it's calculated. I'm gonna scroll down and you can see I have this nice little chart right here. So it is currently the fifth as I am making this video. So once again, Tesla is trading right in this range right here. Me having this contract today, if it goes up to 178, it's probably at about $3. 178 50 16 179 30 and so on if it runs up to 187 today this contract is probably increasing around 284 percent and it's going to be around 380 dollars if a day passes and it's at 187 it's probably around 315 dollars on the 7th which is one day before it expires once again at that 187 level it's at 229 and then on the day of expiration this is usually like in the morning that these values are based off it's showing that the contract would be valued around 102 dollars and um, notice as we come down like right here this would be in the money if we're still holding this contract we're down 25 dollars from where we bought it this last column is expiration which is when it expires so pretty much everything below this point the contract is going to be worthless you can notice pretty much at the start of the last day it's going to be worthless down here uh, it's getting pretty close and yeah this is just something to look at and play with and one thing i want to quickly make clear to you before we go over and take a look at puts is the fact that these values are not exact ultimately the value of a contract is going to be worth what someone else is willing to pay for it so for instance right here day one it says it would be worth $380, and there are all sorts of factors and Greeks and stuff like that, which is accounting for. But one thing it cannot account for is the demand. Say Tesla is trading at 175, and over the matter of like 30 minutes, it runs from 175 to 187. Or maybe it runs from 178 all the way up to 175, which is in the money for this contract in the span of a minute. If it runs up to 187 after that, it's probably gonna be worth a lot more than 380 because Tesla is moving a lot. There's probably a catalyst and there's probably high demand and it could be going for hundreds of dollars more. So keep that in mind. The same way that the value of the contract can increase from demand, the value of the contract can decrease from no demand as well. So with that being said, now let's take a look at buying a put. So now I'm going to scroll up to the top, go to long put, and now, yeah, we're going to look at Tesla once again. And instead of hitting get price, just so you can see it, I'm going to click on this box, 
And you see it put the price in right there for me. And then, yeah, you're going to want to keep this on buy, select option. Let's do one with more time. Let's say July 19th, just so we can see. Tesla is currently trading yeah, at 178. So let's say we bought something out of the money. Let's say we bought a put out of the money. And let's say we thought Tesla was falling to 160. So let's come in, take the mid price, and everything looks good here, one contract. And yeah, let's hit calculate. So as we come down to look, you can notice we have a lot more dates here that we're looking at. You can see the little almost break even range where you're not really profitable or in the loss. Know that as it goes up for a put, you're gonna be negative on the contract so all this over here is going to be in the red and then all this over here is going to be in the green so yeah going on to look at it this kind of just gives you an idea of what you need the contract to do maybe when you should get out obviously the most optimal is going to be if it comes down to 160 right away but if this is the area you're targeting and it hits it like right at the beginning Hey, good for you. That is a 50% increase. If it happens to go way down here ahead of time, even better. But looking at that again, 160 on day one, let's see what it would take for you to get that later on as time goes on. 160 is like right here at 158. The next day need to be 158. So yeah, pay attention to that. For those of you always wondering about data, this is going to be the tool for you. And now that you know how to calculate the potential profit for your options contracts, be sure to check out this video right here so that you know how much time you should be getting on your options contracts. If you found this video helpful or learned anything, be sure to smash the like button. If for some reason you're new here and haven't already, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so that you don't miss any future updates. And last but certainly not least, Thank you so much for watching. Matthew Manuel signing off, and I want to change your life.